Hey there everybody and welcome to the channel, I'm your host Rama, and in today's video I'll be going over the nightclub and all the bonus money that you can be making this week if you take advantage of it. First of all, we have your passive income. As you can see, just with my nightclub earnings, I've made 12 million dollars. That means all I've done is walked over to my safe, grabbed my $250,000 out of it, and gone on with my day. This week, you're going to be making triple the money hourly as you normally would with your nightclub passive popularity earnings. So that means instead of making $50,000 every 48 minutes or $62,500 every hour, you are now going to be making $187,500 an hour just by grabbing your passive nightclub income. That is insane. Now I should point out too that your safe only holds 250 grand. It would have been nice if they increased the safe earnings to like $500,000 or even a million, but unfortunately it's only 250 grand. That means I would suggest every 48 minutes to go take a quick stop at your nightclub to go grab the income because if you don't, it's actually going to max out the safe after literally 2 hours and you're not going to be earning any income. So it's a little unfortunate how small the nightclub safe is and it is a bit tedious to have to go back and forth every 48 minutes, but at the same time, it's literally 150 grand for about two minutes of effort to grab it and then go back to whatever you were doing. So not only do we have triple income on the actual nightclub passive earnings, but we also have double income on these sale missions for the other passive earnings, which is your nightclub warehouse technicians. So you are literally making massive amounts of money this week with the nightclub. And I'm going to be breaking into everything you need to know. So let's get straight into it. Let's start off simple talking about nightclub popularity and how to keep it maxed. As we can see right now, I have 0% nightclub popularity right above me. So there's two separate ways to keep it maxed. The first is the way that I perform. It's very easy. You're just going to scroll to resident DJ and you're going to scroll between whatever two DJs you've already purchased. So as you can see, I have Solomon and Dixon right now. Dixon is my resident DJ. If I were to go to Solomon and purchase for $10,000, if we now exit the website and we go back on, you're going to see that now 10% of my nightclub bar has been filled. So all I need to do is go to resident DJ, swap back and forth a couple times here. That's two, this is three, and this is four times. That means now if we exit the computer once again and go back on, my nightclub, as you can see, is 50% popularity. This is incredibly easy to do. In total, it's going to cost you 100 grand to completely fill your popularity. But if you're watching it daily and you're only going in whenever you're grabbing your income, you should only have to pay about 10 to 20,000 dollars to then max that popularity once again. This is incredibly easy to do and it's a small price to pay for the amount of money you're going to be making in return. The other method I see a lot of people always talking about is entering passive mode and walking into your nightclub. This is going to trigger Marcel to say, hey, there's somebody we need you to kick out. And just like that, you should also raise your popularity. So we have entered our nightclub in passive mode, as you can see, and our popularity is only about half full. And look at that. Nobody contacts me. I've talked about this in the past, but Rockstar has most definitely patched this glitch. And you don't get a message from Marcel entering your nightclub in passive mode anymore. So I'm really not sure where people are getting the idea that you do, because we can clearly see Marcel has neither contacted me nor tried to raise my popularity. So the method that I've talked about where swapping DJs is always going to work, no matter what. It's not a glitch, it's just a way to raise your popularity. So that's what I would personally suggest to do. Now, while we are inside of our nightclub, you can see that our wall safe currently has 150 grand in it. And that is how much money you're going to make every 48 minutes. Now, the wall safe can only hold a total of 250 grand. And that means that you're going to have to collect your income every 48 minutes or the wall safe is going to overflow and you're actually going to be losing money. So I would highly recommend to set like a timer on your phone or something like that for every 48 minutes when you collect your income. That way, you know, hey, I got to go collect some more, got to keep my popularity up or I'm going to be losing out big time on this week's money opportunities. 
So now that we've talked about the passive income when it comes to nightclub popularity, let's jump ship over to the double money sale missions. Let's talk about warehouse technicians, how you can keep them all supplying goods, because I'll be honest, I've had a lot of bugs, and you guys have probably had this too, where just randomly your warehouse technicians stop sourcing goods and you're making zero money. This is very easy to fix. All you need to do is grab any of your technicians, so let's say this one on pharmaceutical research. Just swap them to a different one and then go back to pharmaceutical research, and just like that it should solve the problem once you leave your nightclub and you let it make money it should keep sourcing it so if you ever have the bug where your technicians aren't sourcing you goods just swap them off and on and it should be fine now one of the things that i do highly recommend is for people to make sure that you're only using the most money making technicians for example the most money you're going to make when sourcing goods is cargo and shipments sporting goods south american imports pharmaceutical research and cash creation. Organic produce and printing and copying are the two worst. So always make sure that you're keeping your five technicians on the most profitable. Then if you want to make even more money, you can swap two of them off to organic produce and printing and copying. However, I personally would not suggest that as I think it's a waste of time to even do organic produce and printing and copying. So what I would suggest to do is once your technicians are basically done sourcing the five goods you have them sourced on, literally just sell and you'll make more money hourly if they just start all producing once again than swapping too off and waiting for those two alone to increase the amount of money you can make. So that's the advice I can give there. And just like that, we are in a public lobby. Not with an insane amount of people, only at 14, but it's enough people that we are still going to make a little bit of extra cash. Usually what I do when it comes to nightclub sale missions is I just join the first public lobby Rockstar loads me into and I sell just like that. It's kind of a hassle to scroll over and over to find a lobby with 21 people or more because a lot of the times there just aren't lobbies like that. So usually by the time you complete your sale mission, there's a decent chunk of people in the lobby. I mean, even with 14, we're going to be getting around, what, a 30-ish, 35% cash bonus. So, yeah, that's actually not too bad. My suggestion, and I say this every time the nightclub sales come around, is I would highly recommend to sell nightclub product in a public lobby because you're going to be making so much extra money. But... There we are. $1.31 million is the amount of money we're going to make without the high demand bonus. Let's see how much we can turn that into with a simple sale mission. But we also got to see what exactly vehicle we're using, because if it's double money, I'm not sure if we're actually using the Speedo Custom or the Mule. Yeah, it's about what I figured. We have the Mule Custom. A bit unfortunate, but still should be pretty easy to do the delivery with. Now, if you are selling in a public lobby, make sure that you are in a CEO. And this is because of the fact, in abilities, you can go into Ghost Organization for $12,000. This is going to make you invisible for anybody near you, and it's going to make the missions a heck of a lot easier to complete. So that would definitely be my advice. I'm going to be spending the next probably five to six minutes driving across the map over to Polito Bay. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a bit annoying. To be fair, this is also going to be really, really easy. I mean, it's just a highway drive all the way over to Polito, but still probably a little annoying. Now, as I was saying, the Mule Custom, when it comes to weapons, is pretty lame. You have front-mounted missiles, which are kind of sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. And that is down to the fact that shooting these missiles, you can't, like, aim where they go. It's just where you turn your vehicle. So if I want to hit that car, I mean, I can. But the problem is these missiles are only gonna hit somebody driving in front of me. And, like, what are the chances of somebody doing that? Now, you can drop proximity mines. You can see I just dropped a mine right there. And that mine absolutely murdered that car. So the proxy mines are still nice, but the, um, the remote grenade launcher on the roof I personally am not able to use that is only the passenger which is actually a bit annoying all right so a bit of driving later we have finally made it over to Polito Bay as you can see there's really nobody on the map near me that we have to worry about so we just have to pick up the delivery vehicle with the cargo bob this should be fairly simple there's literally nobody near us on the map as you can see I mean this is what I always find funny about selling in public lobbies the majority of people are in the city as you can see so when doing a sale mission especially where they want want you to go all the way over to like Polito Bay. Once you make it towards Polito, you should be completely fine on the actual delivery. So we have been able to hook my vehicle. That was not a great job of me hooking it, but I guess we still did it. So now what you have to do is deliver the goods to the drop off. Holy crap. This cargo bob is not lifting the mule very high. Oh my, this is awful. This is the worst experience I've had ever. Okay. Well, let's see if we can pick up some speed with the cargo bob without actually
actually losing altitude. I don't see where the barge... Oh, no, I see the barge. It's all the way past this island over here. I'm going to try not to crash the truck into the tree. Oh, my. This is awful. This is the worst experience I've ever had. I, I don't know if the Speedo Custom is this heavy. I've done this sail mission before, but I don't know if I've ever done it with the mule. I think I've normally done it with the Speedo. Oh, my rat. The mule literally weighs, like, a million pounds. Okay. Oh, we're almost there. Apparently, don't you know, guys, the mule weighs more than the tank, because the cargo bob can indeed lift up a tank. But you'll also notice, while we've been doing this, the lobby has actually filled up a decent amount in players. We had 14 people when starting the sail mission. We'll have to see actually how much we have in the lobby after completing the sail mission. So, there you go. Let's detach the goods and... Oh, okay, we're good. I thought I was going to crash into the ocean. But we indeed have not crashed into the ocean. So, we just need to leave the area and... Like that, we should be completely done with the sail mission. Just keep flying, 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 flying away. How much further do we need to go? Not much. As you can see, we made $1.67 million with about 16 people in the lobby. So, not the max money we could have made. We probably would have made around $2 million if there was a max lobby. But still, $1.7 million is crazy good money for literally zero effort whatsoever. So, that is just how easy it can be for sail missions when it comes to the nightclub. But there's still one final thing we have to talk about when it comes to making money, and that is the AFK method. One thing I always try to pride myself on when it comes to the channel is very easy money methods. Even when it comes to AFK glitches and things like that, it's not something where you have to, like, have a modder friend or something stupid that a lot of other YouTubers do. This is incredibly easy. All you need to do is make your way over to the LS Carmi. Test drive whatever car is here. So we're going to test drive the Brioso. We're going to enter alone. Now our character is going to walk inside of the Brioso and he's going to start driving it. Now, what we're going to do is instead of actually driving the vehicle, we're just going to drive it right to the exit of the LS car meet. And when we do that, that is how we're never going to get kicked from the game. It's literally that simple. So let's wait for it to load us into the actual car meet. Okay, now that we're here, literally all we're going to do is drive the car in reverse up to the wall. And it's going to leave us at this picture right here. At this point, congratulations, you will now never be kicked from your lobby. So if you're playing on console or PC like myself, leave your computer on or console on overnight. You don't need to touch a thing. And if all goes correctly, you should literally never be kicked from the lobby. Which means that your nightclub passively throughout the entire night will be making money for you to accrue. That is insane. So when you wake up in the morning, you probably have a good two plus million dollars worth of product to sell and if you sell it in a public lobby, that's worth $3 million for literally doing nothing without even adding in any of the other businesses. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to see more like it, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.